loves it's kelly and welcome to my channel and a great big welcome to my new subscribers so happy that you joined my little youtube family and friends today i have part two of the hashtag art therapy with us hosted by my sweet friend melody i will link her in the description box below she's at melody made and she does amazing art therapy through her videos and her shorts and her artwork and also through her amazing mixed media so be sure to go check her out and show her some crafty love because she's doing amazing things here on youtube YouTube and beyond. Friends, today I am so excited to share with you. I am continuing on my Heart Smiles box. I will link this video below as well so you can see how this one came about, how it got its name, and also how I turned this oopsie into a woohoo. <laughs> but I do love my little Heart Smiles box. So inside I have created a series of little hearts that I wanted to use as the base. What I decided to do, I originally saw this idea on a um, not a YouTuber, an Instagrammer watercolored a bunch of hearts. I don't remember what she used them for, but it gave me an aha moment to get out my own little watercolors. I used the Kiritaki Gonzai Tombies, which are these, one of my favorite watercolors. And I just did some loose watercoloring. I just, you know, chose a color similar to this. Let's say, let's do this, uh, this beautiful bold green over here. All I did was just, you know, had a nice, wonderful, it was actually raining that day, relaxing moment of just painting some hearts, loosely painting them. No rhyme or reason on choosing the colors, just trying to get a base layer of, uh, you know, some of my favorite bright colors that bring me joy, bring me happiness, and I found to be cheerful. That's all I did. I just painted a bunch of hearts. Friends, it was okay that they had the little watermarks. It was okay okay that I went outside the lines. It was okay that the watercolors didn't quite finish all the way through. I was absolutely okay with them being perfectly imperfect. Let me share what I created. But I saw her create those hearts and it gave me an idea to make some for my Heart Smiles box. If I can find her channel again, I know that I wasn't subscribed, I will definitely link it below to give her the credit of where I got the idea to paint some watercolor hearts. What I decided to also do after that is take them a little step further. And this is what I made. Once they were dry, I took a heart-shaped die. I believe it is from Hero Arts. Yep, it's the Infinity Art. In fact, there's the tape still on it. I used this one right there and I die cut them all out. And so once I was looking at all of these colors out on the desk, I thought I'm going to bring these one step forward and give them a little something extra. Give them some drama. <laughs> so I took some leftover thrifted um, paper, the one that was in that heart shaped. Um, let's see if I still have it on the desk. Probably not. Um, what I decided to do is take that heart-shaped chocolate box paper. Oh, here it is. It fell. I thought I had it by me, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't want to say just in case. This was the base layer. I just took a piece off just like that. You know I love to upcycle and recycle, so I took this little chocolate piece of wrapper. Oh, still smells so good. I took some white acrylic paint, just dipped it on there, and I just literally went like this through all of the dried watercolored. So they ended up looking a lot like this. Then I knew I wanted some words on here in two different forms. So I used a stamp that I just got in a D stash. You'll see this coming up very soon for my sweet friend Elizabeth. I decided to um, mask off this part of the stamp just like that and only use these little bit of, um, I don't know if you can see this these little bit of words so I masked off most of the tree trunk and some of these branches to give me these little words it almost looks like um like a um a script an old script from an old manuscript because barely read what it says and I just really wanted it to have both of those on there those little wordings and I also wanted it to have the acrylic paint the reason why I wanted the acrylic paint on here and I chose this color on purpose is to remind myself every time I reach for one of these, you can start over. 
White means just wipe the slate clean, fresh, brand new. There's nothing on it. It's completely empty. Just start again. Start over if whatever it is, it's a nice metaphor for me that it's okay. If the day is bad, tomorrow there will be a brand new one. That's where I was going with this one with the uh, little marks on each of them and you can see here they're all over the place wherever they landed they landed <laughs> i did choose just a variety of colors to use and again i was okay with the fact that it was outside the lines it's okay that it had some watermarks on it and you know it's okay that uh some of these the paint was a little bit wonky i was totally okay with all of that let's just start with this one here it is the heart of gold i thought that would be an important color to include because i think that's something that i always strive for and i always try to um, put a little of that out into the world hopefully the golden rule you know do unto others as you want done unto you so this is where um the golden heart comes in this one over here I promise I was trying to figure out where all of these would go line up these letters and I noticed that these two were side by side just like that all by themselves it was a completely random I was just putting the hearts out I was putting these letters out and I saw that trust and the black heart were right next to each other and I thought that is the universe telling me how everything should be this i know a lot of people say the black heart is evil and it stands for you know bad things in the world to me it means grief when i see the black heart or when i paint it or use it or use it as an emoji it means sadness or grief it doesn't represent evil to me um, you know i lost my dad 15 years ago and he was really my best friend he had terminal cancer and the doctors gave him three to six months to live when he was diagnosed and we said dad you know you're coming to live with us and we moved the kids into you know one bedroom we gave him a room we took him to the VA we made sure he could went to his appointments he lived three years my friends not the three to six months that they told him so you know we did get three extra years with him which was good because i ended up pregnant and my son was born and um you know he was able to meet my son so that was you know that was something that life gave to us so again losing my dad was awful it was life-changing it was absolutely one of the worst things i have ever experienced in my life so to me I learned to trust I had to learn to trust in my feelings you know whenever they came up I had to work through them um, you know trust in family friends my faith which was you know the cornerstone of what pulled me through a lot of that so I thought that was wonderful that those two ended up side by side so I put some foam on there so fast and made sure that this one said trust on it the rest of them are kind of random except for a few this one the green my favorite color does say brave am I brave no not always most of the time I'm not but the reason why I chose brave for my favorite color uh, green is because that's what my name means <laughs> Kelly actually means warrior warrior like brave so I thought that would be a great fitting one on there this one absolutely I wanted to recharge and unplug on the blue because it reminded me of the ocean and the beach which is my favorite place in the whole world and that is where I often do go I put myself under a chair under a palm tree plop myself there and I just let myself recharge and unplug and just check out for a little bit you know I close my eyes and I listen to the seagulls and the tropical breeze going through the palm trees the sound of the waves hitting the shore and I just you know I unplug and I recharge I think that's important again you know we have choices in life just choose what challenges pop up you know um, sometimes we have to remember that it is enough we are enough so just a few little words that were important to me take chances I think that's really really special these words oh my goodness let me share with you these are from notable ink I was getting ready to buy the stamp set and then I said nope I don't want to wait the time for it to you know be added to my cart shipped all the way to me so they offer a digital stamp version all I did was put it into a PDF I printed it out of my computer I used a little bit of this off-white caramel colored paper to give it that aged look and then I put it on some white cardstock as well 
there are so many words oh my goodness my friends i think there's about 75 of them they look like this and you can just print out the ones that you want to use i printed out some at random um, you know, I wanted to make sure it said creative, brave, breathe, embrace, kind, you know, just a couple of the words that I knew that I wanted it to include. So that's what I did. I printed them out in a PDF form. I will link her channel below as well. She does have a printable form. And then I just took my scissors and, you know, chopped these out and I used a trimmer, straightened them out a little bit. And then the scissors snipped off the ends of these. And I think this is so amazing. I really do. I love how this turned out. There was this one here that didn't get put on. <laughs> so we'll put one on now. And again, I love that. None of these are absolutely perfect. They are perfectly imperfect. And that's okay because that is a lot how life goes, my friends. As you know, sometimes we have the best laid plans and they go completely sideways. And that's life telling you that that's how it's supposed to go. And we have those choices in how we can um, react to them, how we can respond to them, how we can challenge ourselves to get to the next step so that is what is so fun and another thing is of course as you choose to recharge you put this together what do you get purple <laughs> and then you come over here and it's telling me to be creative so that's another way to use these I can just reach in and pull one out and say what are you going through what are you feeling maybe I just need to grab a cup of Starbucks coffee and breathe so I love this I really do I think this is a great addition and a first start to my heart smiles box and I had a lot of fun watercoloring them putting them together I put in my ear pods and I just you know let the world go silent for a little while and I really enjoyed creating these. So this is part two of my Heart Smiles box. My friends, I already have part three in the works. I can't wait to share that with you as well. So there you go. That's what I have to share today for the hashtag art therapy with us. Follow that hashtag, my friends, and see what everyone is creating. And not just being creative. Sometimes it's just about connecting with, um, you know, your tribe, what works for you. And, and we all are here united as one. We are all friends and as a community we can help each other in ways that are beyond our wildest imaginations so make sure you link up my friends this is um, amazing and I am so grateful for Melody for putting this together there you go that is today's share thanks so much for watching friends if you like this content please give this a thumbs up hit that subscription button with your notifications on and leave me a comment and let me know that um, you know what do you think about this or what would you add to this or um, something Thing that you would just like to share in general and um, I'm here to listen I really am so that's gonna be it for this one my friends I'll see you soon bye bye